We're here at Dot Ranch Home, Daddy Doe, for our Athlete of the Week. Today we have Pat Alvarez from the Guam Islanders Softball Association, and here to check is Al John. Al John? Congratulations for being Athlete of the Week. Uh, who, who would you like to present the check to? Uh, on behalf of um, Guam Islanders so uh, Softball Association, we would like to present the check to um, Special Olympics Guam. All right, Pat, you guys took the gold medal from the Tournament of Champions Softball a tournament out in Florida, big competition. Uh, how did you guys get invited to that tournament, and uh, who are some of the participating countries? Um, in order to qualify for this tournament, you have to win a major competition, a major tournament, which we won in Vegas in October. We automatically got invited to the Tournament of Champions uh, in Florida this year. Um, the participating countries, we had Canada and a bunch of teams from around the US, United States, from Washington State, New York, Florida, Dallas. There was a bunch of other teams. You guys entering the tournament for the first time and winning your division. Uh, some pretty big news for Guam. Um, yeah, this is uh, probably a once-in-a-lifetime event. You know, I mean, there's a lot of teams out there that has, are, has participated in this league for so long that hasn't even um, came close to coming to Florida. And for the, we did it in six years for to um, be invited to the most prestigious tournament in the United States. And you were talking earlier, a lot of the guys from other teams, six feet plus, and, and they were amazed by how well Guam was able to hit the ball. Yeah, Guam was known as the little boys on, on the town. You know, uh, every time after the game, they said, man, for a bunch of little guys, you guys can really hit the ball. And, you know, we showed some awesome power too with the long balls we were hitting. I mean, they were, they were average maybe six feet and up, you know. I mean, the thing, the biggest guy was like 6'10". And then come close to nowhere to what Guam had. And for you guys taking home that gold medal, facing New York, a team from the cross country, uh, how did things go for you guys in that championship game? Oh, we just, um, we, you know, we've been practicing hard on what we're supposed to do and everything. Everybody pitched in. And um, the team from New York, man, they, you know, they were the best, you know. I mean, for anybody to get invited, there was no second place team that came down to um, uh, Florida. So, you know, we knew we had our backs against the wall against these guys because, you know, they were probably ranked number two in the United States. Uh, and we came out and we showed them what our, our island can do. And we, we got it. We took it. What's next for you guys? I know you guys are hopefully going to be moving up to the next division. Yes, um, after winning, we, we, we came in um, bronze two years and then winning it last year. We are definitely going to step up to the majors, which is another higher caliber. I mean, these are like ex-major um, league players. These are like sponsored guys, you know, from uh, big companies like Adidas. Um, they're a traveling team, so this is their daily job. So we are going to step up. And this tournament of champions, we, we, we have encountered facing the majors and the majors plus which we know we can play with them because we only lost our first game and the next games we beat all the, ma the majors in our division. And Canada, which won the major competition, we um, beat them handily, you know. Um, we beat them, I think, 21-12 or something like that. So I know our, our, our island will compete. I mean, it's the way that the tomorrow spirit is. All right, congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Darren Tone Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Big shout out to Leonard Lenny Calvo, who is a freshman at Notre Dame. Calvo won his 148-pound preliminary boxing match in the 88th annual Bengal Bouts held at the Purcell Pavilion today. Lenny beat out sophomore boxer Ju Sung Kim via unanimous decision. The event is an annual fundraising tournament hosted by the Men's Boxing Club at the University of Notre Dame with the proceeds benefiting the Holy Cross missions in Bangladesh.